Hello, good morning. How are you? I am, it's Monday morning. This week, I am talking about why your anti-inflammatory treatments aren't working. So what does that mean? So I'll be talking about cortisone injections, pills, supplements, things like that. So today I am going to talk about cortisone injections for your knee. So why your anti-inflammatory treatments aren't working. This session, this video is about cortisone injections for your knee, why it's not working. So I had a patient, Melissa, and she had been going to the doctor for years trying to get relief for her knee pain. And each doctor told her something different. It's the meniscus, it's arthritis, it's tendonitis. They all did have one thing in common though. They all recommended injections. So she gets injections. She did that for years, three injections a year for what felt like ages. She did it forever. She only could do three injections a year because that's what the insurance pays for for one but also that is the recommendation because cortisone can actually do more damage to the cartilage. And I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of this video about the damage that it can do um, because I wanna make sure I talk about why it wouldn't work for somebody or why it would stop working for somebody first. So Melissa's doing injections for years and years and years. She's doing three times a year. I don't know, maybe she did it for five years. And they worked well enough so that she could keep exercising. She should, she could keep jogging a few days a week. She didn't do anything crazy. She was doing like 5K, maybe up to 10K distances. She wasn't doing half marathons. She wasn't doing marathons. Definitely wasn't doing ultra marathons. So, and she, you know, she kind of dabbled. She was slow and steady. So she's doing this. She can exercise. She can jog. Every once in a while, the pain would come back. She'd go back for an injection and just keep repeating that cycle. Sound familiar? I bet it does. A lot of people do it. And then all of a sudden, the injection stopped working. She went for one, seemed like her normal pain. She went for the injection. It usually took a few days, maybe a week for her to really feel the good relief. And this time, two weeks had gone by and nothing. The pain was still there. So she went back to the doctor. The doctor said, well, you have arthritis. So you know, sometimes the injections don't work. You're going to need a knee replacement, but you're too young for it now. Cause you, she was like 48, 49. And so the doctor said, well, just keep taking the pills, follow up every once in a while with me. And just, you know, eventually you're going to need that knee replacement. So you just kind of have to wait for that time, but don't wait too long because if the joints too damaged, we can't replace it. So she's stuck, right? She's too young for a knee replacement now. And really, we don't even know if she actually needed a knee replacement. That's a whole other story. She's too young for the knee replacement. And by too young, it just means that the knee replacements last, depending on how hard you are on it, 15 to 20 years. So that's great. But that means that she would need an a replacement for the replacement when she was like 68, 69 years old. And then you're, the body just doesn't, doesn't always do great on the second round of replacements. So the doctors want you to wait as long as you absolutely need to before you get that first replacement. But again, don't wait too long because if the knee is too damaged and the integrity of the bone is compromised, the knee replacement doesn't do well either. Or if the muscles are too tight or too weak, then it doesn't do well either. So she's stuck in this place. So she didn't really know why the cortisone stopped working, but she was like, okay, fine. Like it is what it is. It lasted while it could. I'm just going to take some ibuprofen for now. And because the ibuprofen was helping, but the cortisone wasn't. So what was the difference? If ibuprofen works, but cortisone stopped working. They're both anti-inflammatories, right? Why, why is the ibuprofen still working, but the cortisone stopped? So it's a great question. It's common. And the reason why is because cortisone works at 
works best for acute inflammation. So new inflammation, acute is something new. And it needs to be a localized inflammation, meaning it has to be originating from the area that you're getting that cortisone injection into. So for the knee, if you have knee pain and you get a cortisone injection for it, if the knee pain is originating from inflammation that's localized to the knee, then the injection works because it's a shot of anti-inflammatory medication right to the inflammation. So why didn't it work for Melissa? Well, she didn't, she clearly didn't have localized inflammation in the knee. She had knee pain, but the knee pain was not stemming from inflammation localized to the knee. And how do I know that? I know that because the ibuprofen works. So what's the difference there? The ibuprofen is a pill. So she's taking it by mouth. She's taking an oral pill. So all of the anti-inflammatory anti effects go out th throughout the whole body, not just the knee. That's how pills work. You can't get it to just work on the one part of the body for the inflammation. If it's a pill, it's going to go everywhere. So if her knee hurts, and the inflammation is in the knee causing the pain, a direct shot of cortisone will work. If it's a systemic inflammation, meaning inflammation that's coursing throughout her whole body, then the cortisone will not work. A pill that's an anti-inflammatory pill could work. And I'll talk about tomorrow reasons why maybe a pill, an anti-inflammatory pill isn't working. So, so that's the difference. At some point, Melissa's inflammation was no longer just in her knee. So it wouldn't work for the knee pain. The inflammation is coursing throughout her whole body. And yes, it's affecting her knee and causing pain there, but it's from inflammation that's going through her blood system, through her lymphatic system and affecting everywhere. It just so happens that it's the knee that hurts. So that's why her cortisone injection wouldn't work. So I mentioned earlier about cortisone. You can only get that three times a year because that's what insurance pays for. And that's because the cortisone can actually do more damage to the, the cartilage. So cortisone is a steroid. So typically when we think of steroids, um, excuse me, not typically, some people think of steroids as anabolic steroids, and we're thinking of elite athletes taking steroids to bulk up their muscles, anabolic building up something. There are also catabolic steroids and cortisone is a catabolic steroid where it actually breaks things down. So it can break down collagen which you find in tendons, ligaments, can break down that cartilage because it also has some car, uh, collagen in it. And so if you do too much steroids, too much of the cortisone, the catabolic steroids, it actually starts breaking down the soft tissue in your body. So it starts damaging the tendon, it starts damaging the ligaments, it starts damaging the, the cartilage especially in your knee. So arthritis is already a degeneration of cartilage. So if you put too much cortisone in there, it's actually, it can actually damage the cartilage more. If you have a meniscus problem, meniscus is another type of cushion that sits on top of that cartilage. And it also is a soft tissue that can be damaged from cortisone. So if you have too much cortisone, it can actually damage the meniscus more. So that's why you don't want to get it too often. And you don't want to rely on it for years and years and years, because it can actually do more damage down the line. So that was um, a long version of why your cortisone injections aren't working for your knee pain anymore. Tomorrow I will come back on and I will be talking about why your anti-inflammatory pills aren't working. So I will see you guys soon and have a great rest of your day.